Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem two at chapter six. In this one, we need to find the acceleration due to gravity on the moon. So first thing we consider, how can we find the acceleration due to gravity on the Earth? So we consider the universal gravitation, right? Universal gravitation. This force equals the mass on the object, the mass times the g. This g is acceleration due to gravity. This one. Do you agree? Yes. And similarly, we can consider this is the moon. No, nothing different, right? So in this one, you can get the g equal to the capital G is a constant, the mass of the Earth divided by r squared. This r is Earth's square. The Earth's radius. Now we consider this model at moon. So the moon, if we want to find acceleration uh, due to gravity on the moon, so this is g on the moon. So this mass becomes the mass of the moon. Do you agree? Moon. And then this radius becomes the radius of the moon. Do you agree? Yes. So in this one, you can see the radius of the moon is given. The mass of the moon is given. It's easy for you to find the g acceleration due to gravity on the moon. After you input the number inside, you find it's 1.62 meter per second square. You can see it's much, much smaller than the gravity due to uh, than the acceleration due to gravity on the Earth. So I I suggest you to watch some videos that is the uh, astronauts on the moon. You can see when they jump up, it's very it takes so much time for they return to the moon. Why? Because this uh, acceleration due to gra gravity on the moon is so small, right, compared to the Earth. Thank you.